Woohoo! We're just about to head down into the sections where they're actively cutting and gathering the black spruce. Well, today we're in the boreal forests of Quebec, Canada. The word boreal derives from the Greek god Boreas, the god of the northern winds, which these forests occur at 50 and 60 degrees north latitude. And as you can see today, it's snowing and very cold. The temperatures, in fact, can get down to negative 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Boreal forests cover 33% or comprise 33% of the world's forest cover. Canada has 28% of worldwide boreal forests. These forests are so important. They are carbon sinks. And what that means is that carbon is stored in the soils and in the peat. And that, in fact, makes the boreal forests a larger carbon sink than even the rainforest of the Amazon. Right now, I'm surrounded by black spruce trees. Black spruce is one of the dominant species here in Quebec, Canada's boreal forests. This is a young spruce tree right next to me. And the Native Americans have used this tree for centuries. As you can see, the needles are densely packed and can be used to build shelters. They also use the branches to create snowshoes. The resins can be turned into powders and used as pulses on wounds. The main use of spruce trees is for wood production, timber for construction. But the rise in interest in non-timber forest products is very encouraging. The government, the Cree Nation, and the community see the value in other commodities that can come from the forest while still protecting the forest integrity. Non-timber forest products include things like mushrooms, medicinal plants, and of course, collection of the branches to create essential oil from the needles. There's many opportunities here in the boreal forest to protect it while also having economic activity and livelihoods increase for the communities who depend on these forests. So these, this, this forestry practices would be occurring with or without the production of black spruce essential oil. And so what's so special about this is that what, other, what otherwise would be a waste product, which are the branches and needles of the tree, are now being collected by Borea and distilled into the finest black spruce essential oils. And this is very exciting to us. So we're really happy to be here in Quebec, Canada, and we're especially happy to be here in Zone 10 with our Quebec friends who are working so hard to coordinate across many different layers of bureaucracy and also culturally to have sustainable forestry that can go on centuries. What we're looking is in the operation of a lumbering team. Mm -hmm. who, uh, you can see the tree here, they already forward cut and forward next to the road. Now it's the time to remove the branch, yeah. separate the, the rod from the branch. So that machine here is what they're going to do uh, all day long to, to separate both together. So you can look it's done. So these piles of black spruce, leaves and limbs would otherwise sit here and be wasted, but Jean-Claude collects them and distills them into black spruce essential oil. Okay, so you just saw the chipping that filled the steel with the raw material chip in part. So this is a steel, it's portable. So we'll bring it to the distillery later, right after. And you can see that we have all the raw material inside and it's all chipped in small piece. So you can see all the needle in it. A little bit of snow, so it's a little bit cold, but that's what it is in this time of the season. Building bio 
biomass. Yeah, they're to burning generate, biomass. Generate steam. Which will in turn create electricity. Okay. And the leftover steam that they don't use or after the process, that's the steam we use for our process. And on top of that, our raw material, when we finish to extract the essential oil, it's a waste for us, but we give back to the factory. And they burn again to wow. recycle and be a complete circular process. All these piles of uh, the mountains you see, that's all uh, raw material for the steam factory. Bark, uh, mill residue, our residue, all used as a bio biofuel for the power plant. All the needle here, they are all mixed with the twigs but you can see they are like dark oh, yeah. they're no more green they're like brown that yeah. means we extract everything from it yeah. okay now where, where what we're looking at is uh, where we uh, we harvest the oil from the extraction so we have uh, the steam cool down which is gorged with uh, the essential oil then it goes in this bin <coughs> and naturally separate water from the oil. So we have the oil on the top and the water on the bottom. We use rejects to create products. Yeah, we cut the branch, we throw it in the wood. Right. We, we get that so we can chip it. Right. And from the chip we can make the oil. Right. And that's what right. makes all of this so special. I mean, black spruce is a special oil by itself, yeah. but all the the use of what otherwise would be waste to create right. essential oil is what makes this so sustainable and so special. Yeah, yeah. what more proud of it? Yeah, you should be proud. <laughs> yeah, we're, proud. we're proud of you too. <laughs>